You're a very experienced fighter. Would that be enough to overcome Frankie Gavin on May the 21st? Yeah, I'm a, I got my exp experience. I'm, I'm, I'm the strongest he's ever boxed and the hardest puncher he's ever boxed because he, he ain't fought now, but at the moment. So I'm just looking forward to it. Will that be your biggest strength, the fact that you've got more experience or the fact that you think you're a harder puncher? No, I'm more experienced. That would be my thing, yeah. It's obviously a very exciting bill to be May 21st. You have a lot of support down there. How, are, how excited are you to be fighting in London? Yeah, I, I love fighting on big bills. I seem to... I get up for the big when I fight on big bills. I seem to f perform better because I boxed on big bills before, and I just can't wait. Really. What do you say to sort of some people that have potentially sort of written you off? They're saying that by fighting Frankie Gavin, it will put you back on the boxing map. Do you think that's fair to say? Yeah, it will. Yeah, to, to boost my profile back up there, and out for like it, I should be able to get a British title shot or something. Yeah, it's definitely going to boost my profile up because. I ain't, been, uh, I ain't been getting the fight, I ain't fought for 15 months, and this is what I need to get me back up there. You beat Michael Jennings, who was another big, hot prospect uh, for Frank Warren. Um, very similar, obviously, Frankie Gavin. Do you think you're confident that you're going to sort of rock the apple cart again for him? Yeah, I love being the underdog. I've been the underdog all my career, and this is, and this is when I'm performing at my best. Does it take more pressure off you, in a way? Yeah, I ain't got no pressure. I ain't got nothing to lose. It, it is the golden boy. He's got everything to lose. I ain't got nothing to lose, so I'm confident. You feel you got a lot to prove, though. Yeah, I've got a lot to prove. I've got, I've got to prove that I've, I've still got it, and that's what I want. That's what I'm going to do on the night. Well, good luck. Thanks a lot for talking to us. All right, then. Thanks. Bye. We've just been speaking to Young Muttley. He'll be fighting for the WBO Intercontinental Welterweight Title against Frankie Gavin.